yo what is going on everybody we are back again with another video and for today's video we're going to be talking about obviously the los angeles lakers once again but this time though we're going to be talking about andre drummond because the lakers are the, the the lakers they confidently believe that if andre drummond gets bought out by the cleveland cavaliers that andre drummond will sign with them so that that that's what the la lakers believe especially now since like bro can you believe this blake griffin is on the brooklyn Nets. like Kyrie, james harden kd blake griffin and, and deandre jordan like ju just imagine if it's 2015 right now and i told you six years from now james harden Kyrie irving kevin durant blake griffin and DeAndre Jordan, we're gonna be teammates on the Brooklyn Nets. You, you, you would think I'm crazy. You, you would think I'm on something, but hey, it's a reality now. The Brooklyn Nets are stacked. But obviously, Blake Griffin to the Nets, that, that is something to talk about for another video. But for today's video, we're gonna be talking about Andre Drummond, who played, who also played with Blake Griffin. Andre Drummond, the LA Lakers. I know the I know the title I know the title says like trade but uh, like uh, honestly if the Lakers want to get under Drummond for the Lakers to get under Drummond they they can't they, they can't trade for him because who are they gonna give up they ain't gonna give up Tudor they're not gonna give up uh, Pope they're not gonna give up Kyle Kuzma they're definitely not gonna give up THT or LeBron James or Anthony Davis so the only way the Lakers could get um andre drummond right now is through the buyout market i know the title says trade but like that sounds more fun than just than just saying like buyout market but um if andre drummond does get bought out by the cleveland cavaliers there, there there's a great chance he goes to the la lakers especially with the brooklyn nets just being stacked i don't think he goes anywhere else like the clippers already have you know that they already got serge Ibaka. They they uh the Nets already have on um, Blake Griffin, so I don't think he goes to the Nets. Like I don't think he goes there. So what would this mean for the Lakers? Do I think it's gonna happen? I mean, LeBron did win a championship for Cleveland, so you know may maybe the Cavs could do that j just for LeBron to have a chance of winning his fifth ring. Cause LeBron did bring a championship to Cleveland, so the the, the Cavs could do him a, a favor in um you know buying out Blake uh Andre Drummond. But what if Andre Drummond does join the Lakers? What what does this mean for LA for the Lakers? Well, Anthony Davis is out. The Lakers do need a big man because outside of Anthony Davis and Marcus Saul, like Montrezl six seven, like Montrezl is small, like you know, Montrezl was more of a power forward than of a center, but he's not he's not quick enough to guard like Giannis. But. The Lakers do need another big man. Andre Drummond will definitely be a great big man. I, I mean, I'm a Laker fan. I'll definitely take Andre Drummond on the buy on market. Andre Drummond obviously will provide will, will provide the Lakers with great rebounding. Shot blocking though, Andre Drummond is not a bad shot blocker, but he's not a great one. He's not a he, he's not a the Kemba Mutombo or anything like that, but. You know, he, he'll provide us with better shot blocking than, you know, what a Montrezl Herald, Montrez Herald does. Because, you know, Andre Drummond is 6'11", he's tall. So, if, if you're a Laker fan and you're watching this video, or if you're an NBA fan in general, just, you know, feel free to comment down below your opinions on Andre Drummond. Especially if you're a Laker fan, comment down below if you want to see Andre Drummond on the Lakers. If you don't, you know, feel free to explain why. And if you do, hey, explain why. I'll definitely read your comments, but... I want, I, honestly, as a Laker fan, I would take Andre Drummond. Like, I, I'm hoping this happens, especially with the Brooklyn Nets for Blake Griffin now. I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, the Lakers get Andre Drummond. He'll definitely help out our team a lot. Because we definitely do need a big man. And then if we do get Andre Drummond, we're going to have a starting lineup of Dennis Shooter, KCP, and LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Andre Drummond. And then off the bench, we'll have Montrezl Harrell, we'll have Kuzma, we'll have THT, Alex Caruso. Who else we got? Uh, yeah, we'll have all those players off the bench. We'll also have Wesley Matthews. We're going to have, we're, we're going to be a, a good team, a deep team. We're also going to have the GOAT, Jerry Dudley. So, you know, the Lakers, if they get under German, they're going to be a really deep team. They're going to be like the, the, the deepest team in the NBA. Like, they're going to be a really great team. 
So yeah, it's gonna Andre Drummond on the Lakers in my opinion is gonna make them way better than what they are now, especially since the Lakers do need a backup big man. You know, Marcus All 36 years old. He's you know he's old. He's old AF. I mean he's not that old. He's not 40 years old, but you know, Marcus All is old. Marcus All is younger than LeBron James, but only a few months. But yeah, if you guys didn't make out of way to the end of the video. Like this video if you want to see Andre Drummond go elsewhere if you want to see him go to a different team Obviously, I want to see him join my favorite team, which is the Lakers. I want to see him on the Lakers So like this video if you want to see Drummond on a different team It looks like the Cavs will be um, Yeah, it, it looks like the Cavs are going to be moving on from Andre Drummond and building around Jerry Allen Colin Sexton um, Darius Garland who else? Well, I, well, yeah, Kevin Porter Jr. is not on the Rockets. He's not on the Cavs anymore, but the, the Cavs are going to look good, though. They're going to have some young pieces. So, if you're a Cavs fan watching this, you know, you should be excited about the future of the Cleveland Cavaliers. You're going to have a pretty good future. You just got to hope that the Cavs don't, you know, mess it up like they've done in the past. So, yeah, the Cavaliers moving on from Andre Drummond. I would not. Don't be surprised if the Cavs move on from Kevin Love, too. Like, you expect the Kevin Love trade to happen. Maybe not in this trade deadline, but just expect him to get uh, to get traded out of Cleveland because the Cavs are, are you know the, the Cavs are already looking to rebuild around their young talents, their young player. And yeah, if you you know if you made a auto channel in the video, just like I said, like the video, feel free to comment down below your opinions on this. Um, and yeah, also subscribe if you're new. And I'm out.